Hi everyone. Welcome to the Science Info Channel. Today we will discuss about the world's oldest pet cemetery discovered in ancient Egypt recently. Before we get started make sure to like and share this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell. Archaeologists in Egypt have discovered the oldest pet cemetery on record, a nearly 2,000-year-old burial ground filled with well-loved animals, including the remains of cats and monkeys still wearing collars strung with shell, glass and stone beads, a new study finds. Ancient Egyptians are known for mummifying countless animals to honor the gods, but this cemetery is different, said study lead researcher Marta Osipinska, a zooarchaeologist at the Polish Academy of Sciences in Warsaw. Unlike some mummified animals that were interred at other sites, sometimes through starvation or a snapped neck, none of the creatures in this cemetery, located on the outskirts of the Red Sea port of Berenice, showed signs that they had died at the hands of people. Instead, we have old, sick and deformed animals that had to be fed and looked after by someone. Almost all animals are very carefully buried. The animals are placed in a sleeping position, sometimes wrapped in a blanket, sometimes covered with dishes. In one case, a macaque monkey was buried with three kittens, a grass basket, cloth, vessel fragments, one of which covered a young piglet, and two very beautiful Indian Ocean shells stacked against its head. So, it means animals were not sacrifices to the gods, but just pets. Play sound. Archaeologists discovered the pet cemetery, which dates to the 1st and 2nd centuries AD during Egypt's early Roman period, by accident. For years, researchers have excavated the outskirts of Berenice because it houses an ancient dump, filled with rubbish from Egyptian society. In 2011, archaeologists began finding the remains of small animals in one area, so they looped in Osipinska because of her specialty in zoo archaeology. It turned out to be dozens of cat skeletons, she said. In fact, of the 585 animals they excavated, 536 were cats, 32 dogs, 15 monkeys, 1 fox, and 1 falcon. None of the animals were mummified, but some were placed in makeshift coffins. For instance, one large dog was wrapped in a mat of palm leaves and someone had carefully placed two halves of a large vessel, amphora, on his body, just like a sarcophagus. Archaeologists found the remains of a cat wearing a bronze collar. These ancient Egyptian dogs were buried in ceramic vessels. Of the 585 animals that remain unearthed so far, 32 are dogs. Researchers excavate the pet cemetery near an ancient red seaport. The Roman-era pet cemetery, Red, was located on the outskirts of Berenice in ancient Egypt. The remains of a lame dog. The skeleton of a lame cat. Many of the cats wore collars or beaded necklaces. The burials of a dog, cat, and monkey in the world's oldest known pet cemetery. Some of the cats, left, and dogs, right, buried in the pet cemetery had abdominal cavities filled with fish bones and scales. Archaeologists unearthed the remains of a monkey in an ancient Egyptian pet cemetery. Most of the pets in the cemetery were cats, including these felines that were buried in pots. Just like some pets today, these animals may have worked for their owners. For instance, cats may have been mousers and the dogs could have helped guard and hunt. But a few of the animals were deformed, meaning they likely couldn't run. Someone fed and kept such a useless cat, Osipinska said. Her team also found dogs, some nearly toothless, that made it to old age, and three toy dogs, smaller than. Other clues indicated these animals were pets, including the fact that many of the cats wore iron-made collars or beaded necklaces, sometimes very precious and exclusive. An ostrichen, a piece of ceramic with text, like an antique text message, found at the site had a note from when some pet cats were still alive, telling an owner not to worry about the cats, because someone else was taking care of them, she added. Many scholars argue that the ancient world had no concept of pets, but our discovery shows that we humans have a deep need for the companionship of animals. About 2,000 years ago, the port of Berenice was at the end of the world. It was an empty, hostile piece of the world. Merchants came here to bring exclusive goods to the empire. What they took on such a long and difficult journey, a beloved dog, or they, had, a monkey brought from India, or kept cats. Thanks for watching.